This is the very first lecture of uh, Computer Organization Class CS 47 uh, in San Jose State University. Uh, the topic is Introduction to the Computer, the main topic. So, we will be uh, getting introduced with, these, with the computing systems. And our topic to, uh, today would be to review uh, the things what is a computer and then we'll review briefly on member of the of your organization mainly computer organization so <clears throat> let's get started on this so we all have certain idea of what what a computer is right and we have seen many many different forms of a computing system which let's call them a different avatars of a computing system they comes in in so many surprising forms right uh, like a glass google glass it has a little computing system inside it this glass uh, smartwatch of course it has itself is a computing system uh, it can come in a smart refrigerator satellite system of course has many many computing system inside it playing toys like irobot and many medical applications and devices uh, has computing system in it like a drone like an amazon uh, delivery system uh, that is also itself is a computing system for package delivery purpose um, google car is one of the famous self-driving car in the bay area and of course we'll see more and more example of self-driving car nowadays like a tesla for example these are all this is also a computing system a form of computing system <laughs> of course we have the smartphone which is itself is a computer and then we know this this thing a traditional desktop with monitor keyboard mouse all this system together that's that's traditionally considered to be a computer uh, not these other things but these other things are also computing system. Of course, you all have a laptop system, which is also another form of computing system. And last but not least, servers, right? You don't see it, uh, probably haven't seen it already. Maybe if you were, you were uh, worked in, a, in an IT department, uh, then probably you have seen it. Uh, so in your computing compute server room, there are lots and lot of these these boxes, which is a tower of servers, multiple servers. Um, they are a form of another another form of computing system. So we are getting confused here, right? So we have a lot of things that we are calling a computer. Then what a computer is? By definition, a computer is a system which can compute which can like compute something right run some number compute some info information process some information whatever whatever term you want to use there but at the bottom line it computes okay and if you look at all these different example of computing uh, machine forms like an iRobot or smartphone or Google car all of them has some very simplistic generic concept with them. All of them has a central processing unit, which is the main part, crunching the information. And they are attached with some input devices, right? Through which they get some inputs, right? Some information in some form. For example, like in your desktop system, it probably is your keyboard and mouse it gets inputs through them whereas google car gets input from its various sensor but nonetheless they are in general they are input devices right and this computing system has an output device associate right again for example desktop monitor is one of the one of the uh, like highly used out form of output device and you see all your program results and like various 
effects of your program like gaming and mo watching movies and all this stuff out on the screen. They are output device. For a Google car, on the contrary, the output is mainly controlling of the car, like it's a steering wheel adjustment for the lane and like uh, putting on acceleration at the right time, putting on brake on the right time. They are all kind of output devices, we can say. Okay, and all this computing system has these two associations. They have certain input devices through which they picks up the text in information to be processed. They process it in the central processing unit and the result goes into the output device. And this system essentially associates itself with some certain memory device to store intermediate result, some important information. They can store it, they can retrieve it back as it needed. All of this form you are seeing different forms of computing system has these uh, has these uh, sub parts or subsystem in it. Okay, so we can have a very simplistic view of a computing system comprised of input devices, output devices, central processing unit, and memory device. Okay.